Hey guys, so we're going back to Zenobite Chronicles Future Connected. Let's carry on where we left off. Grandel is under attack yet again, as you can probably tell from the epic music in the background. Just before we committed our assaults on Alchemoth to take down the Fog King for good, the Fog Beasts showed up to ruin our day. So let's return serve and uh, banish them from our land before we go after the Fog King. I've been assured by the brains of the operation we've got what it takes now. After we gathered that high ether crystal from the Forbidden Hushland, it was about as dangerous as it sounds. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to clear this, no problem. Let's head to the ramparts. We might need some backup from the other camp too. Alright, the Fog Beast is in view. What the hell? It basically walked through the front door, guys. Why did you leave the door open? Could have at least left the small one open and closed the big one. Goodness. Oh, Tyrea. Nice to see you again. Contributing. <laughs> We're here to help. This rabble won't stand a chance. Not against the big one. We'll keep the small fry off your back. Okay. Right. Cool. Leave the big one to us then. You go no further. Yeah. <laughs> Great follow up there, Shul. We're gonna crush you! Yeah. Okay, well. He didn't seem too happy. I think. I think he may have sworn at us. Not sure, we couldn't understand. But the preamble of trading cutting words is over. Let's take care of this. Also got our uh, platoon of pawn specters to aid in the battle. This lakelet mammut doesn't stand a chance. Kind of, although, damn, we just took a bunch of damage. Uh, we're toppled, and Kino's not in the party. Oh boy. No, we're not reckless. Although I should be encouraging. I'm about to die. Ah. Okay, we're alive for now. I could really use a uh, small heal. There we go. Thank you. If we can get the party gauge built up too, that'd be fantastic. Might need the pawn specters to deliver us a healing shot. Eh, let's just keep toppling this. Thankfully, Nene is able to effectively tank this fog beast. We're getting close to maxing out our party gauge and defeating the Fog Beast, so... Nothing too much to worry about. Back to blue health. Drop some poison on it. Times two. Alright. Let's finish this up in style. Blue Caress, why not? Good boy, Kino. Yes. We are Groot. <laughs> Kino, fast asleep because he's not in the active party. What a... What a dunce. <laughs> Seal the gates. Thank you, Melia. Sheesh, what would these guys do without me? I gotta tell them what to do. Next, I'll be telling them to breathe. All right, Grandel secured. We beat them this time. All it took was shutting the but door. The numbers are against us. I hate to say it, but if you'd already left when the attack happened, we'd be smoke. Oh. Fog King must well. go. Down with Fog King. I'm sure if we took Situation down the Fog King, everything will be I fine. Agree. Melia, I'll do it. I will bring the companions back to lend you aid. All right, they there we agree. go. You know they despise us. Yeah, but they uh must see the danger. Circumstances they have changed. What needs to be done? We got fog beasts roaming around Yay. the Bionis' shoulder now. As soldiers of the high end here, they know it's their solemn duty. Hmm. They're not anti-work. <laughs> they better perform. I swear it. I will bring them back with me. Please. Trust me, Radson. I'll be right here. 
trusting and waiting. There we go. Tyrea. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and go. <laughs> but I Cheers. haven't even defend this place until I return. Those are your orders, right? Though we're short-handed as it is. Will you be okay? Just go before I change my mind. Thank you. <laughs> before my resting we'll bitch face returns. Movement. Multiple biggins confirmed. Damn it, we should have left already. Impossible. More already. If the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. All right, Come, get that diplomacy hat on. You head straight for the cape. What are of course. you saying? I won't this get distracted. All of us. I know exactly what my orders are here. I hope I don't have to remind you what yours are. But that's You said it yourself. If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold this place alone anyway. This is our last chance to enlist the companion's aid. By a sign. Radzam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. <sighs> yeah, as Shulk would say. <laughs> Come on, we make for the companion's cape. All right. Please. Don't be a smoldering ruin by the time I get back. Let's go. <laughs> Tyrea knows I'm gonna get distracted with side quests and uh, recruiting pod specters. Okay, well, <laughs> let's live up to our wishes and head straight for the companions. Well, this isn't exactly companions cape, but hey, I could use the backup of an extra pod specter. So let's go ahead and grab his gear. And take all these spiders for good. I need my revenge. I want to feel powerful. Even though there are a lot of them. Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Dismal Amya? Oh god. We had a unique monster in our midst this entire time. Thankfully. It doesn't really stand a chance. Just walk on past. Walk on past the spiders. How do I get to this thing? Damn it, I'm making so much noise. Okay, just walk quietly around. There we go. Ah, gotcha. Tay-Tay's charm. Now in my hands, let's just calmly walk briskly out of there. Solthus. Yes. Hello there. Yes, I'm Solthus. What do you want? A first aid kit. Ah, I see. That was your boat, wasn't it? Yes, you stole our shit. In that case, I have a request. Would you please let me have the kit? Otherwise, I'll feed you to the spiders and then... Well, you won't be needing the kit. <laughs> You'll be needing body bags. Many of our warriors have been wounded fighting fog beasts and we have no good substitute for real medical supplies. I know I haven't earned this necessarily, but I ask you nevertheless. Won't you help me care for my comrades? Well, yeah, if you'd asked in the first place, maybe. Explain the real reason. What? You want to use it on a machina? Rather than treat a comrade wounded in battle, you'd waste the kit on one of those cowardly swine. Uh, <clears throat> My apologies. I spoke out of turn. It was unbefitting of a warrior to speak so emotionally. To the Empress, no less. I will return this to you now. Just see to it that it doesn't go to waste. Thank you. <sighs> Some of my subjects, man, honestly. Need a lesson in manners. Okay, Tay Tay, I got your charm. What did Tay Tay do this time? Ho ho! For friends found? Oh, as happy as day of Tay Tay! 
of life of Tay Tay. Tay Tay would start to be afraid, would have dangerous bad luck forever. Well, it's not forever. It's just for a couple more hours, actually, since I've been assured once again that this DLC is only ten and a half hours long or something of the sort, and we're approaching, what, hour nine, maybe? Friends seem like reliable sort of folk, and um, Tay Tay do need to see Chief One One, so maybe. What friends say to escort Tay Tay to meet Chief? Fear of Tay Tay dwindle to tiny pebble if surround with trusty allies. Tay Tay might look like wimpy pants on first blink, but cowardly exterior actually hiding real talent. Friends know Archaeology Center at Frontier Village? Surveying is indispensable skill for excavation, and Tay Tay happened to be proud member of Survey Department. Path of surveying fraught with alerts of monsters, but Tay Tay no secret art of sneaking and weaving between. Can tell friends all about juicy footsteppings later. Oh, well, thank you for teaching me how to stealth. Oh, we're only missing four pawn specters. There's also a bunch of quiet moments as well we haven't been able to explore. We really need to start priority prioritizing those. Although, I feel like some of them are still locked. Okay, yep, they are. But there's a fair few that are unlocked. I should seek them out. Got the pawn specter up there. Hopefully there's some kind of elevator or something around. Let's make our way up. Old King's Testament. Oh. Okay. More unique monsters. Gotcha. Oh my. Well, it's not an elevator, but we do need to put on our Nathan Drake boots and start our ascension. I should probably say Lara Croft. That'll be a bit more appropriate. This feels like a tomb. Would have been ours if we couldn't defeat that unique monster. All right, Pod Specter, I made it. Agni's Sky Garden Ruins. Howdy. Yo, boss. Qualified, certified, never, not, ain't, not pumpified. Pod Specter sets out his name, surveying new lands this game. You see ropey bridge that connects to the enormous stone pillar over there, boss. Sets out of irrepressible urge to stand on terrace of bridge and give voice to own determination and pumpedness. But they're already Rogel on Terrace, and they're showing Setset lots of aggro. Why a beef with Setset? Rogel need to chill out. Setset is just a lot. Live on truth. Sometimes no on bro just gotta shout. Yeah, sometimes your bros just gotta shout. Setset make earnest request. Please do as Setset ask. If Setset not can shout determination from Terrace, life is over. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, let's cross this off your bucket list. Uh... All we have to do is get you over there, right? And defeat and clear out enemies that give you aggro. Contemptuous Greymane. It's golden. I don't think we'll stand a chance. I'm afraid it's just beyond our reach. That's okay. Let's head up to the terrace. Well, set, set. You're all set. Sorted out those rogles for you. That was tight, boss. So much strong. Set, set, move to manly salty tears. Now Setset can go to Terrace in peace. Bear with Setset one minute. It's only going to take you a minute to get there. I suppose if you fast travel. Shouting out of blood, sweat, and tears of determination conclude with success. You the boss, boss. I hope I was of some help. Setset feel connected to you by unbreakable thread of destiny, boss. Gonna hang out with the crowd until we find Chief One One, okay? Okay. Okay. You do what you gotta do. As long as you join the party. Bleed attack. During journey to Bionis' shoulder, Chief 1-1 one -one took Setset aside and said, Setset, Chief, I have great trust in you. Setset not so easily trusting as that, so not quite believe in Chief 100%. Well, I think your uh, fears were were founded. That's why Setset got a seat for Setset's self what Chief 1-1 one -one get up to. Anyway, Setset counting on you, boss. Setset, signing out. Alright, three to go. <laughs> Meh? Other pawn specters? Sure thing, boss. Set that got red hot tip for you. Should check this place, no kidding. Now that we're about some further pawn specters. Let's bring him into the fold. Of course, one of the pawn specters is down here in the Forbidden Hushland. Thought I'd never have to come back. This place reminds me of Evolve, if you ever played that multiplayer game. It was asymmetrical, 4v1 against the monster. Uh, and the monster was player controlled and would roam around the, the planet looking to feed and get stronger. This 
entire location reminds me of that. And all these monsters. They could just devour us at any second. Hello, I found you! Sensei told me all about you. <sighs> Made it. Nanona! You speak to Nanona? Qualified. Mortal. Certified. De deified. Pond Spectre Nanona is name. But what is his name? Peh. Ahem. It seemed fate ordained us to meet. Laws of space time converge on single point. For one of Pond Spectre blood cannot but happen. Time is nigh. After aeons of wait, dreams soon come to fruition. Cut down, miscreant. Thingamajigger. Uh, thirteen. <laughs> Must fall. Let this act fan flames of rebellion and upturn world of shambles. Meh? Friends want to know more about Thingamajigger. Thirteen? And why world is shambles? You're in the forbidden hush land, you idiot. Of course this world is in shambles. Now's not time nor place for expositioning. Firstly, must make pact with Nanona, and to do so, must slay odious fiend that lie beyond. Beslayal of one untidy, surely, lead friends to original proof. Then, and only then, may friends begin on path to reach true law. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll defeat the thingamajigger at 13. Recommend level 73. Threads of fateliness, please to weave werble winding way. Uh, yeah. I, I totally understood everything you just said. Totally. Ah. Old Expedition HQ. Got a machina here, Malakans. Welcome. What was I thinking? It's all well and good to want to photograph monsters, but how could I forget about my cowardice? Uh, yeah, how could you forget that you're afraid? <laughs> but what are my options? Ask someone to do it for me? It'd have to be someone who could operate this machine. I assume from their expression that this matter bothers them. Well, Shulk, would that be you? You are a Holmes, a High Entia, and no pawn. Hm. The perfect specimens for a walk into a bar joke. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't mind me. Please pretend you didn't hear that. Uh, we're sorry to disturb you. Uh, what are you doing out here anyway? Uh, uh <laughs> nothing suspicious, you have my word. Please, don't start suspecting me. Don't call an emergency meeting. Especially because I'm the only one here. I don't have an alibi. As you can see, I'm a machina. After arriving on the Bionis's shoulder, I was stunned by the level of biodiversity here. From there, I decided to study the local monsters and came here to take photos of some of the species. Then I realized this was the Forbidden Hushland and I could get crushed at any second. Photos, huh? Wow. I haven't seen any of those since I was at Dunban's house. Which monsters did you come to photograph? I didn't realize their cameras existed in this universe. Danoses and Lucas. But there's a problem. Whenever I face one of the beasts, my legs start shaking. You guys look pretty strong, so I bet you wouldn't know how that feels. Oh, hey, do you know how to use a camera? Did you like that bit of flattery that I'm going to use to segue into providing a quest for you? A camera? Well, I've never actually used one properly, but I've tinkered with them a bit. <coughs> Right, right, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, well, if that's the case, it's probably safe to say you could learn. Sure, just like you could learn how to fight. But I understand how it works, theoretically, so I should be able to figure out the handling. Great, then I hope you won't think it too forward, but... Would you mind taking the monster's photos in my place? Um... Uh, I'm not convinced I'll be able to take good, very good pictures, though. That's alright, the camera will respond to your desires and do the lion's share of the work. You just have to press the button. Okay, take some photos. Okay, in that case, you'll be needing this. Melikanze's camera. What I'm after is photos of two species of monster. The Glow Dinos and the Dozy Luca. For the Dinos, I'd really like you to get a night shot. The critter itself should live somewhere nearby. As for the Luca, a daytime snap would be best. They live up the slope towards the purifying falls from Shoulderstone Scree. No problem, leave it to me. Well, meanwhile, back at... Junks, Kino in the doldrums. Kino, what's wrong? Talk to us. Oh, such very depressed. Oh, what I'm sorry. Think, Has something happened? We'll keep you in the active party, and we'll get you some wasabi. It's unlike the bright, bubbly Kino I know. What? Kino not allowed to 
to be moody is sensitive, <laughs> especially at age of I was about to say, you know, I see. sometimes the happiest people are the most me. depressed. So something worrying you? Anything you care to discuss with me? Doubt if can help. But maybe Miss Melly have some advice. Oh. Oh, very well. In that case, I'm all ears. Keynote, follow Miss Belly and Shaw calls Skulky like to come with. Yeah, mm -hmm. you did. Yes, quite. Never do that again. Let's start. Keynote never think Kino come to such very far away place. That boy, when Kino leave, Kino not say bye bye to Mama Pom. Uh. If Kino come back now, there's sure to be heck to pay. When Mama Pom angry, wants to look like Chew Toy. Just thought of remember makes me go kaplunge. Oh, you're gonna get a hmm. good old spanking when Did you Oka get back really home. have such force of character? <laughs> but don't fret. It's only because she worries about you. Spank you so hard, you're not gonna be able to skulk ever again. Is nothing but a sign that you are loved dearly, Kino. Miss Molly Shaw. Yes. I'd say she only scolds you because she cares. That's Mama true. Angry because not. Kino not really understand. Well, it means she Look cares. This way. Kino, you are her beloved son. If you were hurt, Oka would be sad, would she not? Therefore, when she scolds you, it's to try and ensure that you don't put yourself in harm's way. So, do not think it cruelty. Oh, Kino, no. Everything resolved. If you miss Melly, just ask Mama Pond to tone down harsh when angry at Kino. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Even Mama Pond may become a bit gentler. No, no, I'm not going to intervene no. in any parenting That's duties. What I Okay. Why no? You really need me to explain. Isn't it the mark of a hero pond to take responsibility for their own actions? Mm. At least I believe Ricky did. To an extent. Yeah. If you wanted to come with us, you should have asked Ricky and Oka's permission to begin with. <laughs> you got Don't yourself you into this mess. Think that's what a hero pond ought to do? <laughs> You'll find as you go through life, similar situations may reoccur. If they do, and if you act the way you did this time, nobody will acknowledge you as a true hero upon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, striking where it hurts. Exactly. Own up to it, man. Kino. Don't try to get others to clean up your mess. Wrong, you must reflect on it and rectify it as soon as you can. If you let the chance slip you by, you may not get another. Kino got it, Miss Melly. For now, Kino promised to never follow friends or sneaky skulky again. We'll follow friends proudly. So long as we oh. let you. <laughs> it seems I didn't explain properly after all. I mean, he can try and follow, but wrong, as long as we know. Oka undue concern. So you'll have to accept your punishment, put time into self-reflection, and next time, Simply do better. Do better, that Kino. That Just be you better. In your path as a mighty hero. Understood. Kino, promise. Hmm. I wonder if he really understood. He did not. He's a kid. But he'll figure it out eventually. Once he gets that spanking. Now it's time to talk to your sister. Family relations. Hopefully, hopefully she's not upset too. Miss Tyrea seem like dick sort of person to deal with. Well, oh, that's an Difficult, understatement. Huh? <laughs> Maybe so, but she's still far more mellow than before. Yeah, you should have seen her before. It's <laughs> even worse. Tyrea know each other from where? Well, it's... It's a little complicated to explain. Complicated? How? Very. Hmm. I'm just not quite sure where to begin. For one, Tyrea and I... I'd never met until one year ago. Houses too far apart, or... Well, thankfully. I was not allowed to venture outside. Moreover, I never even knew of her existence. She, on the other hand, seemed to know about me. We... We never met because work had been busy. <laughs> but how Miss Melia never know of? If sisters, then of course she'd know. Oh, family That's secrets, true. you know. How can I explain this? A real Netflix Tyler drama. and I have separate parents. Different fathers and different mothers, both. Mimi, 
In the same boat as Nene and Kino, then. Just like you and Kino, Tyrea and I are not related by blood. But we had a half-brother with whom we shared a parent each. Half-brother? Hmm. No parents in common, but a brother we are both related to. <laughs> Therefore, Tyrea and I are not exactly complete strangers. Me, me, me! Brain of Nene starting to melt! I'm sorry. I did say it's complicated. Nene does not understand. If both have same brother, why cannot be one family together? A uh, half brother? Our parents being different. I and Tyrea have led very different lives. We never even met, let alone behaved as a family. Neither knows how to relate to the other, and so we struggle on. It sounds like Miss Melia and Miss Tyrea both feeling more like Kino. How do you mean? Kino also not talk to anyone at first. Very Heidi shy shy. <laughs> I don't think I'd call myself or Tyrea shy, exactly. If you want to become good friends, but not know how to put in action, then it's exactly same. Hmm. Okay. But as can see for self, now Nene and Kino super best of friends. Kids say the darndest things. Do tell. How did you two achieve that? I fed in wasabi. Away, please. Answer is clear as day. Nene prescribed lots of play play. Oh. Play play. <laughs> also, sharing of yummy snacks and sleep together in the same bed. Ooh. If do that, become family in wink of eye. <laughs> I'm not sure I can do that with Tyrea. Seems like a lot. Yeah, we're yeah, not at that stage. Nene, patience is exhaust. For at least Nene, 50 years. Want to be sisters with Miss Tyrea or not? Uh, yes. I would really like that, I think. So, now is best and only chance. No time for hemmings and whorings. Time to buy a king. Best Bid. and only. Hmm? Perhaps you're right. Okay, then now Miss Melia go and say, Hey, Sister Bon, come play. <laughs> right <laughs> now? I need some time to compose myself. Oh, well, we got a kingdom oh, to save. If Miss Melia must, but I have to promise to ask soon. Yes. I will. One day very soon. <laughs> like that'll happen. As Shrek would say. But, uh, hey. I'll be happily proven wrong. Alright, Pororo, I managed to grab all of your favorites. All 20 of them. May May. Friends find some of Pororo's fave? Show Pororo, please. <laughs> uh. Here you go. May May. So friends find five of Pororo's favorite? Enjoy reward of Pororo with fullest diploma. Oh, I forgot I could come, like, as I collected them. Well, I got all of them. Good jobbings. Friends find ten of Pororo's favorite already. Treasure like, treasure this reward like just born little pond. Rucksack, 20,000 gold. Incredible effort. Friends found 15 of Pororo's favorite. Friends deserve material reward and extra pat on back. Quick step. Oh my god. That would have been handy a while back. One, two, three, and all here, all 20 bits. Pororo's favorite all safely returned. Pororo not know how to express elation. Congrats for days and days. Friends did unbelievable job and deserve unbelievable reward. Now Pororo can go to Grandel and face esteemed person with no fear for personal safety. Uh, yeah, about that. Uh, Grandel's about to become a smoldering ruin. Uh, maybe hold off for a couple of hours. I still need to make my way over to Companion's Cape. Or oh, thank friends. Thank friends so, so much. Phew. Debuff resist and 50,000 gold. Ooh. Okay. It's time to turn in a bunch of quests to up our armor before we head off to face the Fog King. Oh, I suppose we should gather the companions first. Wow. Those must be the Dawn Smiles, huh? Thanks so much for finding them. A lot of people died trying to get the capital back. One guy was someone I really looked up to. He was strong and kind. Sort of like the brother I never had. I actually wanted to find the flowers by myself. But I guess I can always do that next time. Really though, thank you. I'm sure this made him happy. I'm sure it did too. Now hand me that armor that you could have worn to gather these Dawn Smiles. 
Princess Bottoms. And knee-high boots, exactly what I've been looking for. Damn, we're still getting new quests even now. I don't even know if I'll, I should be accepting this. I've still got a bunch to turn in. Uh -oh. Um, I'd like to talk to Kina if that's okay. Oh, okay, fine. Sheesh, Ponspectors, can you believe this shit? Maybe you wanted to talk to me. Hey, Kino, you've helped me make so many friends, and I wanted to get us something special to bring us closer. Like a matching set of items we could all wear. Do you have any good ideas? Uh, no, I'm going back home probably tomorrow, so don't worry about it. Kino have just the ticket. We'll make Angela and friends traditional Nippon-style friendship bracelets. Friendship bracelets? And you can make them, Kino? That's an amazing idea, I love it! For starter, need some elastic ivy. Angela know where to find, maybe? Elastic ivy? Right, hmm... I think my dad was using it when clearing away some rubble. He was always going off into the woods along Thal's way, so... Maybe that's where the vines grow? Good, good. Must find there. Okay, five lengths. Damn. Thought I already had them. Nope. Kino, go there at once! No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh my god, look. Oh, so aesthetic. This is the first aid kit? So I could use this to heal Granddad? That's... that's awesome. I'm so relieved. Thank you. I was afraid that if we'd had to run away, Granddad wouldn't have made it without his leg. I didn't... I didn't want to be alone again. Uh, Alright, I've got to get it together. This isn't the time for crying. I've got to go and kill Granddad. Thanks a million, mister. Come see us sometime. I'll introduce you to Grandad. I bet he'll like you too. I'm sure he will. I'm a very likable Empress, what can I say? Oh, that's perfect for Shulk, I believe. Damn. We're a real cyberpunk now. Look at that getup. It's incredible. You come bearing Hoverstone, I see. That'll help with the cleanup a lot. I don't really want to stay here forever, but it'll be nice to make the place that little bit more tolerable in the meantime. For another thing, it seems to me to be a good deed to leave it neater than we found it. Not all tumble down and derelict. I'm sure the people who once lived here would hate to think of their old homes as overgrown piles of rubble too. In any case, the area should be getting a lot nicer very soon, and it's all thanks to you. I really appreciate it. I hope I was of some help. You're more help than you realize. Have some confidence in yourself. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Melia. I feel like she has found her confidence though, so there's that. You get the bright eyes I asked for. Alright, then it's time for me to get to work. Let's forge us a ring. Can't believe I risked my life for this. There you are. Here's the ring you asked for. I still think the whole thing is a bit strange, but do go ahead and give it to Ardred. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we're the ones who braved the most dangerous part of getting the materials for this ring, and he's just gonna waltz off and propose, claiming that... He probably did all the hard work. Oh, it's you. I've heard all about what you did from the boy. It appears I find myself in your debt. Please allow me to thank you myself. I am truly grateful. No worries. Hopefully your your legs all good. Good on Miles for giving you the med kit. Hopefully we don't start a war with Companions Gate. God, he's so annoying even now. He's beyond this wall. I can't just get to him so easily. To go the long way. Damn you, Ardred. Should have just tossed the ring over the fence. What? Now he climbed over. I realized he was back in Grandel. I had to fast travel back. Okay. okay. Ugh. Oh, the ring is ready. What superb make it is. Uh, did I hear you right? Cars made this, you say? Oh. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm no fan of that faux nerd scrapper. This isn't about me. It's about Winnie. I guess I should be thankful for the ring. Uh, you guess? Really? Miss Winnie used to live in Alcabath with a high inch of pure blood. That's why she's alone now. Back in those days, she felt rather embarrassed to live in the capital as a Homs. But I could do nothing but watch. But things can be different now. I can bear to see... I can't bear to see poor Miss Winnie wear her sorrow on her sleeve anymore. I shall give her this ring and make her a happy woman again. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means. Oh man. There's going to be a follow-up quest, isn't there? Jubilant ribbon and a plate. No follow-up quest, it looks like. Phew. Maybe they do live ha happily ever after, after all. Okay, just because I'm super cool, here's the elastic ivy I've been collecting. Kino discover mother load of elastic ivy. Here, Angela can hold on for two for now. Uh, okay, understood. I'll be sure to keep them safe. 
Next is Sparkle Stones. Kino saw stones that look similar near Lake where Jonks landed. Should be no problemo to find Sparkle Stones if look there. Damn it! Thought it was a one and done. Oh god, we finally made it to Companion's Cape! And I'm ready to turn back around. Jesus. <sighs> Maxis, we're sitting ducks here. Uh, I'm aware. Damn. Where did these bastards come from? Uh, it's okay, we're here to, to rescue you guys from the Antols. <laughs> Maybe. Reluctantly. Oh my god, she's so close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good evening. Terrible weather we're having. Oh, you're only level 70? Okay. I suppose that helps. Casual mode? Might need it. <laughs> I might need casual mode. Man, we're just out here slaying kings all day every day. First the Antol King, then we're going to go up to the Fog King. <laughs> What's next after that, I wonder? Uh-oh. Meanwhile, back at Grandel. At least Tyre is holding them off on her own. We're in the clear. Breathe deep, men, and prepare for the next wave. Oh, damn, they're playing horde mode. Let's go through this again. Hi, Entia, deploy your shields. Stop the advance on the gates. Anyone with a rifle, clean out small targets in range. Remember, oh. all we're here to do is buy time. Eliminating all threats is not our mission. Make no mistake. Mom. Oh. Fuck me sighted. So they had, to, they had to deploy their shields on the top of the battlements, I see. To arms. Go for it. Damn, Tyria. Badass. In the meantime... Thank God, it's out of my sight. They're all just gone. What? <laughs> but how? How are you? All well? <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah. Cup of tea. What the hell are you? Never you mind that. Empress. We've come to make a request. Sheesh. Time is of the essence. Go on. Would you return to Grandel? Absolutely You're not. Asking like that, I assume you know why we left. Indeed. Then you must know why that's not an option. Even what as you're said, both Grandel is besieged by fog beasts. On the brink of and oblivion? I'm far too busy to come here just to lie. <laughs> and the village <laughs> Shit. Are they safe? Yes. For the time being. But not for much longer. Well, you don't seem all that surprised, Maxis. I don't care. They could all die. No, hmm. I didn't know. Just connecting the dots. If we were hit, then <laughs> yeah, they didn't send them. I trust I needn't spell it out for you. A veteran of the guard. You need not. But it's not as simple as you make it out. I never said anything about simple. But you did ask. You forget yourself, Maxis. Do I now? What yes. matters here is that the lives you have been guarding are once again in danger as we speak. Yes, but... You're free to have your reasons. But you need to find a way to accept reality and move forward in your life. <sighs> Maxis. We are the lucky ones. What do you mean? We can go home. That's nonsense. The Fog King has Alchemoth. Ah, sorry, you're out of date yes, on your news. Yes, but home is right there, even if we cannot live in it now. But what of the other refugees? To them, home is gone. <laughs> yeah. Even if they could leave, they have no certainty home still exists. But we... 
left them for dead. How could we possibly? It is never too late to make amends. As long as you live. And buy a bed and After share it with all, all of them. Despite your quarrels, you are neighbors, family. Those bonds can withstand more than you think. Maxis, realize what you have. Do it before it's too late, or you'll regret it. <clears throat> Maxis, I'm going with these people. Thank you, companion at arms. I can't turn my back on them. Maxis? Come back home. <laughs> you're damn good. All right, I'm in. So you're with us. Truly. Yeah. But it wasn't your fancy words that swayed me. Oh? My family needs me. Fine. <laughs> As you wish. Okay, you did I say I was damn good, though. Real feather brain. Hey, let's not insult him. He's finally decided to come to. All right, we're about ready to take on the Fog King. Let's spend some of our hard-earned arts coins and money. We're gonna need it, I feel.